Let's discuss uh, aspect ratio and importing files into your digital video project that are not digital video, specifically photos and video that is uh, square pixeled. Importing photos and other graphics into Premiere requires some adjustment, especially when we're bringing these into a digital video 4x3 aspect ratio project. To make my point, I've created a circle in Photoshop. I'll drag this into uh, our project. And uh, as you can see in the program window, my circle is not exactly a circle. To return this to a circle, simply select a clip, right click on it, go to uh, Video Options, and Maintain Aspect Ratio. And voila, there's my circle. At this point, I've got several options. Uh, one, let's see what caused the problem. First, I imported this image as, six, as 750 by 700 in Photoshop. And obviously, we are short on the sides of space. If I would have created this circle using a 900 by 600 project size in Photoshop, I uh, would not have uh, this black space. The other option we have is to fill that black space, we're going to clip, video options, and aspect fill color. And that will bring up our color picker, but that's going to be counterproductive as this Photoshop document is uh, imported with its white alpha mat intact and an aspect fill color will not be an alpha channel causing some other problems. I'm going to decline this option and consider another option and that is to zoom in on this image until the uh, black edges are gone. I'll select this image and right click on it and we'll go to video options. We'll go to motion and initially I'm going to uh, center the object, click on the last keyframe and center the object and reselect the first keyframe and let's zoom in until our black edges are gone. We can position this object further down and zoom in on the last keyframe Obviously, see, I'm fighting a battle. If I would have planned this a little better in Photoshop, I could have made the circle smaller and the white mat bigger. So planning ahead helps, especially when you're creating graphics outside of uh, Premiere and importing them into uh, Premiere from another uh, application. Start with a large 900 by 600 mat and keep your uh, creation in the center of the mat. close this out and import a photograph into our project. And this is a uh, boy with a toy. First let's look at the size of the photograph. This photograph is a uh, 1466 by 1293. We want to import photographs into Photoshop at their full resolution. The more we have to work with the better. Let's select this photograph, right click on it, and select maintain aspect ratio. That returns that photograph to its original aspect ratio. But again, we're faced with uh, several challenges. One is to get rid of the black uh, spaces around the side, and the second is to uh, add some pizzazz to this photograph by zooming and panning. Let's bring up our video options again and go now to uh, motion. And bring up our motion options. Start by centering the picture. Last keyframe, center the picture, and go back to our first keyframe. And let's zoom in and decide how we're going to pan and zoom across this picture. Typically, I find it uh, near impossible to grab the uh, starting keyframe on this motion path. So let's anticipate uh, what's going to happen that will grab the ending keyframe and uh, plan on how we're going to end our zoom pan. So I'll click on it and sure enough with some keyframe uh, down toward and zoom way in. 
and maybe bring it down a little bit more. Zoom in a little bit more. The more pixels you have to work with, uh, the further in you can zoom without uh, starting to uh, pixelate the image. Let's go back and select my uh, first keyframe. And now I can grab the start of the motion path and create a zoom. And we'll try that on for size. That seems to work for me. Your mileage may vary. I'm going to accept this, close it out, and we can uh, scrub this on the timeline and satisfactory to me. The next item I have is a uh, film clip. Um, it's a 240 of a train. And of course, analog video was created with square pixels. So let's uh, select a clip, right clip on it, and uh, do a maintain aspect ratio command. And now we can see small black stripes down the edge that indicate the difference between our square pixels and our digital video pixel aspect ratio. And to correct this, uh, we'll need to go back into motion settings and uh, do a zoom in about 10% uh, ought to be plenty. Or if it's not critical, leave the aspect ratio as it was and use it. You be the judge.